So you got multiple websites, you got Apache working and you want PHP and MySQL working so you can have your database for, for instance, a WordPress website? Oh yeah, the right address. In the previous tutorials, we did install a new Ubuntu operating system to install Apache. We have configured multiple different websites. In the last tutorial, I taught you guys how to open the ports and port forward it to Apache. So let us continue. Yeah, we need to install PHP now. So go to Ubuntu and open a new terminal window. New terminal window, put it over here. What we're gonna do is install first PHP and then we're going to install a MySQL server. sudo apt get install PHP. I need PHP CGI lib apache to the mod for PHP. And we need PHP gear, I guess. Let's do PHP MD. Stream. Oh, and we can use PHP all develop. I think this would be the right list. Uh, it says no PHP gear. Let's just remove this. Aha! So we need to download some stuff and install it. And it's a big list as you can see. It needs a couple of dependencies to be able to work. So let your Ubuntu version install this. That was the first list of things. And let us sudo up install some more stuff. First let's install the MySQL server. MySQL Surfer. It's one of the first things you need. So, so okay, let us install PHP 7.2 and for MySQL, MySQL. So we need to install the PHP MySQL mod. Now we can install PHP MyAdmin. PHP MyAdmin. And this was the one that is prompting you. It needs a lot of dependencies. Wait, ah, here it is. So Please choose the web server that you want to configure it. And we want Apache 2, so press space and then press enter. You do not want the database configured for PHP MyAdmin because we're gonna do that ourselves. Press no. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to give root access to MySQL and we have to do it in a very strange way. So let's open sudo MySQL first. If you see the screen then it is working correctly. And now we have to do something. Select user authentication string host from mysql.user. Yes, this is correct. What we see here is that we do not have an authentication. We want it to be changed here. Next step is alter user root. So we want to change the first one, root, add the quotation local host identified with mysql native password by and here you enter a password. So here you enter your password. In this case, I'm just gonna use a password and end it with that sign. And it says it is okay. So if I'm correct, we can flush our privilege. How do you write it? Privileges, privileges, error. Flush, how do you write that? Privileges, privileges. Ha, that was it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just don't know how to write that word. If I am correct, and if we redo that first command, select user. Now we see that we have something here at the root and that is this password. So we need that password. So what we do know now is that our root is now disabled. So if we go to exit and we want to sudo mysql, then we get an error. We are not allowed to use sudo sql. So that's some safety thing. How do we use it now? We say we want mysql and we say we are user root with no password and then you enter password and then it is working. So now we need to create, create user. It is called your username, in this case, Mr. So it's the one you see in the screen at localhost identify by, and here we put our password. And then we say grant all privileges on star dot star to Mr. at local host with grant option oh, it's grant with a t sorry grant all privileges and now it is okay now we have my sql configured make sure that you change these passwords into your password and not use the word password now that we have this stuff let us enable everything we need to enable some modules for Apache. So here in the Apache folder, you have mods available. And in these mods available, you can choose mods to use. 
So we need to enable some mods. So sudo apache2 enable mods. We need to enable the php, php 7.2. What else do we have? Proxy, php. I think this is enough. Yeah, well, we're gonna enable it. So it is enabled. So I think we have to sudo reload Apache. I think we have PHP working now. So let us check our websites. We do not have a link yet to the PHP My Admin. If you want to use PHP My Admin, we have to add a link in the folders, the websites folders. So we need to make a PHP My Admin link in these website folders. So in the website folder, in this case we are in Farcon Project, we will write uh, sudo ln s and we want a link to, I think it is etc PHP My Admin, and we want it here. Yes, we did it. So we need to put this command, copy it in every folder, in every website folder. So just paste it. Oh, that's boring, rewriting it all the time. Let's go cd double dot dash. We use double dash slash to go back one folder. Now we are in that folder and let's rerun this command. Let's go cd double dot slash light. Do the command here and do cd double dot the other websites and do it in here. So now all websites have a link to PHP my admin as you can see. So what does this do? Let us go back to our internet. I'm gonna open Firefox on top of the screen, farcomproject.com, and now we can put PHP my admin. And as you can see, we are being sent to this website. We are in the PHP my admin. Here we put root and we put the password we did create. Remember that one that we did create in the MySQL, where was it? Here, that password that we added here. It's this password on this user. Create user mister at localhost. Maybe that one would work too. So let us check that out. I I'm not sure. Let's try it. I'm not sure. Maybe that worked too, because we made that new user. Oh, that works as well. So now we created a user, and if you want different users with different MySQL accounts, you know how you did that. You did that here. We created a user identified by a password. So we are almost there to get ourselves a WordPress website. Let's just finish this up and create a WordPress website. So let's download WordPress. You go to wordpress.org slash download. You download it, save the file, Oh, it's already downloaded. Wow, it was so fast. If you have the WordPress folder, just extract it. And we can copy all these files and send them all to a folder that we are going to use. So let's just go for Fartman Project, since it is the one that I use the most. So yeah, let's open this WordPress folder in a new terminal. So make sure that you are in the WordPress folder and let's right, sudo copy everything and send it to far ww this folder so and as you can see it did just copy it but it's already telling us uh, we do not have this folders wp admin and the content and to be able to do that we have to say copy and then give the option r for folders copy all folders over there and now we see all the folders so what's going to happen now if we go to that website go back to firefox and let's check out this website History, clear, everything. Oh, okay, so it's opening the index.html first. So we have to delete that. Let's go back. Here we have HTML and it's choosing HTML before PHP. Let's just simply sudo remove index.html. So now it is removed. Now we only have index.php because that's what it uses. And if we refresh now, we are here in WordPress. You will automatically get sent to this setup because we do not have a setup yet. So here in the database name, you press MySQL. That's the name of the database. You use that username that we just created, that mister. Uh, you use your password localhost. And let's call this uh, the table prefix would be the name of the table. So in this case, this is for the website Fortcoin Project. So let's call it uh, Fort. Yeah, let's just call it fart <laughs> and submit it then we get an error message because it is not allowed to write 
stuff. So we have to put this in the WP config. So whatever you get here, copy it all. And it says, after you've done that, run the installation. So you go back to the websites folder. This folder here, uh, we need to make this file. So we're gonna create this file. So open a new terminal here and write sudo nano, which means we're going to make a file and it's called wp-config.php. Put your password again and let's paste this. This was what we got. And as you can see, here is the information about the database. This is what we need. So we press Ctrl X to exit and we press yes. And now we have a PHP config file. So if we go back here now, after we have done that, we did just do it. We run the installation and here we go. So give your site a name. In this case, it's Fartcoin Project. Your username, I choose admin, some password. Yeah, let's just keep this one. Put in an email address at gmail.com. And, oh, I didn't save. <laughs> I'm very glad that I did just copy it. And as you can see, we are at the website. So this is our front page. We have a WordPress website running now. Isn't that cool? So we have our WordPress. If we would go to WordPress admin, we are getting at the login page and here we can post a new post. Publish it, come on. And as you see, we have created a new post. So that is it. That is how you do it. We finished it. We created a WordPress website. I guess we did it. We created our own websites all from home. So I hope you guys did, did learn something new today in this tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did enjoy it, let me know it by giving it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, it would be so awesome if you would subscribe to my channel because I make these kinds of tutorials every once in a while. See you guys in the next episode. Bye. BHP installed. Oh, we got everything. Yeah, we made a WordPress website. We made a MySQL database, we made PHP, and we, we made sure that it was working all accordingly. We have several dev different websites and they're all being forwarded by Apache to the right directories. And as you know, these principles also apply on Ubuntu, the live servers. Like you saw, we did everything in the terminal window, so you could use the terminal windows to do it on a live server as well. That was all for today. I think we have enough. What a lot of work. We got it. We got it working.